Hey y'all, it's Anime Game Man. Today I'm going to be reading the 48th episode of Captain Tsubasa. And I gotta say, this episode was pretty darn exceptional because we had quite a bit of character development. Now, while it isn't as huge as some other episodes, we had doses of it for Hyuga because, for one, it was even, even noted by Kira that when Hyuga's facing against Tsubasa, he's not actually worrying about Tsubasa's injuries anymore. So, throughout the field, during the game, Hugo's matured mentally, and they're even noting how he's playmaking more, and even after Tsubasa scores a goal, Hugo's not so gun a hole about wanting to, like, pay back Nakatsuka by scoring a goal of his own. He now feels things out so that he can, at the very least, try to score a goal more efficiently without compromising Toho Academy roster, and I like that. Because it shows the amount of growth that Hyuga has because, for one, even though he's kind of picked up some of the habits he used to have, like not worrying about players when they're injured throughout a match, how he kind of, kind of like how it happened to him when he was playing against Jun Misugi, at the very least he retains, at the same time, also new personality traits, like the trait of thinking things through. So that was an immensely positive thing about this episode for Hyuga. Substantial character development, and while this episode didn't necessarily give character development to Tsubasa or Wakashimazu, it at least gave him some characterization when you see Tsubasa do creative things like when he tried to like graze the tiger shot the first time and he fell, and then when he did it a second time, even though he put his body in super risk because he took the full force of the tiger shot into his leg, Ali shows his, his tenacity, and same with Wakashimazu, because even though he can't lose his left, he's still using his right arm in order to keep on keep in the game and keep being useful to his team. So I like that. It makes Wakashimazu and Tsubasa much more endearing to see these two risking their bodies just to just to um, play the sport they love so much, football. So I kind of love that. It makes makes me like these characters more. And it increases the scale even more too, because the more Subasa gets injured, the more it could happen his career in the future if he wants to play football professionally and all that kind of jazz. So I kind of like that too, and same for Wakashimazu. It's like, yo, this shit is crazy in a good way. So I like that, and I even like how his father is noticing Wakashimazu trying his go going through injury and all that. Who knows, maybe that can make his father change his mind. So that was also another cool element about this episode. Now as for the... And that's why I thought I did well from the character standpoint. Now from a story standpoint, I thought I did immensely great. Because it escalated each and every single scene. First you have Hugo make his tiger shot and it almost rips the net. And then you have him do another tiger shot. It goes in and that shit was sick. And I also like how it looks like Freeze's energy beam too from Dragon Ball, from the Dragon Ball Z series or Dragon Ball Super. And then you have our boy Subasa counterattack because when Yuga does his tiger shot, Subasa pretty much blocks it with his drive shoot and it amplifies the force that it would go, it would first grace Hugo's face with it scratching and making him bleed, and then it would go into the net that not even Wakashimasu could stop, and I like how it emphasized the force by breaking the net, and then breaking concrete, and I was like, yo, that scene is so sick. So I like that, how this episode thought it couldn't get much more over the top, and then it somehow did. And I love that kind of shit, and I like how it showed consequences too, because even though what Subasa did was epic, you see him falling in the ground after he goes through some this, some wondrous feats to go through some of the Toa County members when he tries to make another goal and then he faints. And I like that. Because at the very least, that shot that Tsubasa did, that combined the force of Hyuga, it came with consequences. So that was also another beautiful, th beautiful thing about this episode. And that's why I thought from a story perspective it did well. It just escalated things more and more. And then for it to end off with Tsubasa having to be carried off and then you see like the bandages all fucking destroyed. I love that shit. It gave this episode much, much more grittiness and it helped it make it even much more grander. So that's why I, th I thought it did well from the story standpoint. And the animation was sick too. Like all the goals were beautiful and then when Tsubasa was getting past a lot of the Toa Academy members to try to do a drive shoot nearby, it felt like he was dancing with the ball. That's how beautiful it felt. 
And that's why I thought the animation was amazing also. And the same with the artwork. They always do a great job each episode. And that's I'm going to rate this episode a 10 out of 10. It was just immensely gratifying, especially the soundtrack placement and the voice acting. So anyways, guys and guys, this is my thoughts on the 48th episode. Comment down your thoughts in the comment section below. Rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more. All right, bye-bye.